Now I need to read Hebrews, and I'm going. I'm still in the Message Bible, and I'm going to begin with chapter 5, verses 11 through 14, and then I will continue on into chapter 6, verses 1 through 3. I have a lot more to say about this, but it is hard to get it across to you since you picked up this bad habit of not listening. By this time, you ought to be teachers yourself. Yet here I find you need someone to sit down with you and go over the basics on God again, right? Continuously going over the basics for elevation and promotion comes from within. So we have to yield and surrender and constantly be renewed and transformed by the word of God, but also through the presence and revelation of the Holy Spirit, okay? And then he says, starting from square one, baby's milk, when you should have been on solid food long ago. Milk is for beginners, inexperienced in God's ways. Solid food is for the mature who have some practice in telling right from wrong. So when we come in and receiving Christ, receiving Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we have to begin with the basics. We have to build upon a foundation of truth. One of the problems is in the church is that the foundation has not been built on truth, right? There is a radical transformation that takes place when you confess and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord, okay? And I'll give you a hint right here. The Lord, Jesus, the word made flesh. It's when the word of God becomes Lord over your life, okay? That's that's the very foundation right there. We, we attach so much to the physical and to the flesh that we're missing the spirit and life that's in the word of God, but the power that flows through the revelation and enlightenment that comes by the Holy Spirit. So when we get into chapter six, he says, so come on. So let's leave the preschool finger painting exercises on Christ and get on with the grand work of art. It's time to grow up in Christ. Yes, it's time to grow up, okay? And the basic foundational truths are in place. Turning your back on salvation by self-help and turning in trust toward God. Baptismal instructions, laying on of hands, resurrection of the dead, eternal judgment, God helping us. We'll stay true to all that, okay? We're going to stay true to all of that. However, there is so much more. Let's get on with it. There is so much more. We got to get past the elementary teaching. And now I want to go over to the Amplified Bible and read this um, to you because it's very important that this foundation, that you have this greater revelation of truth so that when I begin to share the enlightenment of a greater, of a higher calling in Christ with you, you'll know why. Okay, and you can allow the Holy Spirit again to bear witness with this truth that I'm sharing with you today. So in chapter six, it says, so therefore, let us go on and get past the elementary stage in the teachings and doctrines of Christ, the Messiah, advancing steadily toward the completeness and perfection that belong to spiritual maturity. So here we are, we're growing up in Christ. We, we have to get to the point of spiritual maturity. So there's some tearing down and some building up. Some people going to get cut. Some apostles, yes, going to get cut. <laughs> some prophets, mm, going to get cut, okay? You're going to bleed, but that's okay. We got our Savior. We got divine healing, wholeness, restoration, rejuvenation, enlightenment. We got the Holy Spirit to bear true so that now when we go through the planting and building up, Glory be to God, you'll be able to receive from the right position in the true death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, so that we can properly do uh, the perfecting of the saints, the work of the ministry, right? The signs, the miracles, the wonders, the, the these works as our Lord, and even greater works, okay? Let us not again. Okay, 
be laying the foundation of repentance and abandonment of dead works, dead formalism, and a faith by which you turn to God. With teachings about purifying, the laying on of hands, the resurrection from the dead, and eternal judgment and punishment, these are all matters of which you should have been fully aware of long, long ago. If indeed God permits, we will now proceed to advanced teaching. This is why we've been stuck. We could not move on to the advanced teachings, the maturity in Christ, because of the foundation was not built properly. So the apostolic anointing of those that are completely yielding and abiding in the right position know this truth that now we have to come forth and allow the words of God to tear down and to build up upon this fresh revelation just like Jesus upon when he was talking to Peter and said upon this rock upon this revelation I shall build my church well upon this revelation now the church will be torn down and rebuilt because we got to move from that time into such a time as this so rather than just waiting on jesus to come we have to acknowledge the abiding of the presence of him within us we must mature to the fullness of the christ that is within us okay so when he said that i am the christ son of the living god we have to take that and become one with this truth ourselves as believers in order to mature in Christ. So now that the foundation is laid, let me go ahead and just give you the seven keys. And then I'll share some information with you in some notes that I written down to share with you in this video. So key number one is the purging of sin consciousness. Man, oh man, this this is it. If you can't get past the purging of sin consciousness, there's no way in the world you can mature in Christ. All right. In Christ, there is no sin. In Christ consciousness, you got to get past trying to function from your human efforts, your human behavior. He said, you abide in me and I shall abide in you. You abide in Christ, in this truth, in this revelation, okay? Quit judging, quit trying to work from the outside versus the inside and abiding in this truth. In the truth, right, you cannot commit sin if you're in Christ. You don't jump in and out of Christ, okay? That's why you have to allow yourself to mature to be Christ. 